still 
Susie was known to be extremely intelligent. 
said before, if she died, then doesn't all her money go to him? Especially since Janie was out of the picture. His sister. I don't know. And Bob Newsom was going to testify on Tom's behalf and help him to get more visitation. So, gotta get rid of him and whoever is there at the time. They gotta go as well. So that explains all five of those victims. And then the whole high-speed chase at the end. Well, they had been found out. They were on their way to go hide out at this farm and wait for the end of the world, whatever that means. But now the cops are on to them. And clearly they must have known they were going to go to prison. So they could have just gotten out and turned themselves in, right? Go to prison. And then the boys would have gone to their father, right? So can't let that happen. Let's just kill all of us. Better that the boys be dead than that the father should have custody of them was what they must have thought. And they would rather be gone themselves as well rather than go so that explains the whole motive as far as I'm concerned. But how did it get to this? Well, we know that Fritz was supposedly strange from the beginning, so he was a con man, a conspiracy theorist, and a bigot. We have seen people like that in true crime a lot. But what about Susie? How did she go from being part of this well-respected, wealthy family to becoming what she became? Now, I am wondering, since Dr. Glenner was a bit of a quack, did she ever have any of the illnesses that he said she had? Like, did she ever even have a heart murmur? Did she have polio and did she have MS? I'm kind of thinking she never had any of those, but who knows? Regardless, her parents were forced to treat her so gently and be so protective that she became spoiled. I mean, we clearly see how that happened. But just because a person is spoiled doesn't mean they're going to turn into a killer. We also knew that she was extremely intelligent, but yet she fell for all of Fritz's lies. Why was that? I mean, to most of us, granted it's many years later now, but still, if you hear someone talking about being in the CIA and stuff like that, red flags go up, you know? And she had to know her ex-husband well enough to know he wasn't involved with drugs or gambling, right? So why was she believing all of that stuff? Was he that manipulative? I guess so. I mean, he was a con man, so he must have just been extremely charming and fooled her. Now, do we think that she knew about all the murders that had occurred? I think so. I mean, I think she knew before they happened. She, I don't know if it was her idea. I would say it was probably Fritz's idea. But she went along with it. And do I think she knew that he was about to blow up the car? I feel like they had discussed this as something that they might have to do at some point. You know, it seems like it was well thought out in advance. And once they realized that they were caught and there was no way out, they went ahead and went through with this plan. So that is all I have for today.
so much for